everybody boils milk in India. People don't trust the quality of the milk. The milk spoils. It doesn't smell nice. So they actually have to almost repasteurize it at home. For the last eight years, Shri Kumar Mishra and his company Milk Mantra have been on a mission to transform the way milk is produced and sold in India and turn millions of skeptical Indian consumers into true believers. <coughs> India has the world's largest dairy herd, some 300 million buffalo and cows that produce massive quantities of milk a year. But the average farmer owns just two cattle. Here in Orisha state, their milk is distributed to thousands of tiny storefronts and roadside stalls, all controlled by a network of middlemen. The middlemen control quality and price. They may sneak in water to add volume and then thicken it with sugar or other additives, according to government reports. And the milk they deliver is often unpasteurized and not properly refrigerated. That's why almost all Indians boil their milk. Mishra and his team at Milk Mantra are betting that India's emerging middle class is ready to spend just a little more for quality milk. Their company is marketing a premium product called Milky Moo. The motto? No need to boil. So we said if we can really break that age-old habit, but to do that we ourselves needed to produce the highest quality of milk. Improving quality and reinventing the supply chain from cow to consumer is key to Milk Mantra's success. You know, where there are thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of farmers who probably each have one or two cows, uh, you know, at best. It's a very complex supply chain problem to have something in place which is able to procure milk uh, from all of these farmers from the rural network. First, the company recruited enterprising men and women from each village to serve as local representatives. They organize twice daily collections and rigorously test the quality of milk supplied by each farmer. Saketa Bhushav Dash is Milk Mantra's representative in Odapenga village. His job is to work with farmers to improve the feed and veterinary care for their animals. Just like there is a trust deficit problem with the consumer that we had to solve, there was a trust deficit problem with the farmer as well. Because farmers have been abused or kind of not been treated well by many players in the agri ecosystem. <laughs> We now have uh, more than 55,000 farmers in our ethical milk sourcing uh, program. It's not just about collecting milk and paying them the right price on time. It's about making sure that they develop uh, as suppliers, they get the best quality inputs to feed their cows, they, they get vet care. Each can of milk gets tested again at a local collection center a few miles from the villages before it is poured in a cooling tank. From here, it heads to the company's processing unit about 50 miles away. So we realize milk spoils because of uh, not just temperature integrity, but because of light exposure to it as well. So we re-engineered a whole packaging film which prevents light exposure damage uh, to milk. Milk Mantra is now producing an average of 120,000 litres of milk per day at this facility in eastern India. It also produces yogurt and cottage cheese. When we launched paneer, which is the Indian cottage cheese, most of the things, the paneer, packaged paneer that was available in the market was all um, frozen. So we came up with this uh, whole packaging format which uh, extends the shelf life of fresh paneer to 21 days.
Over the years, Milk Mandra has grown to 340 full-time employees, with almost 900 workers on contracts. And revenues have grown about 35% annually. Profits have come more slowly, but Mishra is confidently looking ahead. When we look at uh, India now 2018, I think there's been a huge shift in the entire enterprise ecosystem. Building a culture of um, you know, mindfulness around quality and a promise to the consumer and farmer. So that culture is absolutely important because this is a, this is a whole space where the individual who is there dealing with one farmer or collecting milk from him to the individual who is there at the front end making sure that the retailer keeps products properly. Everything is dependent on uh, these guys. However strong our processes and systems might be, but people have an important role to play.